Hey, what is up, rogue techers? So the last time we left off, our intrepid band of mech warriors was here at uh, Circinus in the Circinus Federation. Now it was held by Merrick, and we got a pop-up that said it flipped to the back to the Circinus Federation. But when we looked at the map, it was still under my control. But today I I launched the game, and for some reason it is back under Circinus Federation control, which is great. I mean, we were trying to flip the planet, and we certainly did. So. I, whatever I, I don't even know so we're gonna leave here um, since it's back under uh, Sir Kenneth's uh, Federation uh, rule and we're gonna head over to um, Deirdre's d uh, den here now it's got um, Indosphere level civilization manufacturing mining research and rich world uh, it's also got um, uh, does it have pirate presence? No it doesn't that, that's okay. We're going to head over. It's 11 days. We're just going to travel there. Um, I didn't see anything in uh, this planet uh, contract-wise that was going to put us further ahead. Um, my goal is to try and nail down now as many me medium mech parts as we can since our mechs now are at a level where we can start taking on tougher units. So our goal once we get there is to hopefully pick up two, two and a half skull missions that I know are going to yield us some half decent parts um, and give us a good chance to get some medium mech parts. We did pick up a, about four Wolverine parts um, a couple of episodes ago. Uh, we need eight parts to be able to put together one mech, so we're going to need to find a couple more of those. So, while pacing through the mech bay on a sleepless night, you stumble across Payroll. She's fiddling with a stock medium laser, a jumbled pile of loose metal and wire littered the wires litter the deck plating around her. As you approach, Payroll, Payroll looks up, a sheepish grin on her face. Uh, hello, Commander. I was just trying to tune this beauty, maybe get a little more performance out of her. Could you do me a favor and keep this from the Chief, though? He already shooed me out of here once this week. Um, I'm going to let her keep working on it. You never know. We might get lucky and get something good out of it. Technically, it's not a mech warrior's job, but when you're traveling for 11 days between planets, you might as well let them do something, so... Eh, it doesn't look like she gets through anything here. I suppose that was in storage for a reason, so we can afford to lose it if we if things go wrong. Just be careful. These weapons are meant to destroy mechs, after all. Later that week, Payroll catches in the hall with an update. Commander, I'm sorry to report that I wasn't able to modify the weapon like I wanted to, but is able to put it back together again the way it was before. Double and triple checked it, just to be sure. So no lasting consequences, that's good. Sometimes you get lucky and end up with a medium laser plus or something with a bonus accuracy or whatever, but not this time. She is a noble after all, so I'm not sure how much she knows about repairing uh, um, and rebuilding energy weapons. Alright, let's have a look at the store. I guess in a way that's kind of prejudice. I guess nobles really aren't um, what we would consider nobles today. Uh, let's see what we got here. AC5 triple plus, range, evasion, ignore, and dope stability damage. Double plus laser, large laser. We've got a large that we're not using, so no big deal. SRM4 plus two damage and stability damage. Well, if, we, if that was an SRM6, I might pick that up for the other panther we have. TTS plus one missile. I think we've got one of these. In st Are we? Do we? No, I don't think we do, actually. Um, that's an option if we want to buy something a little later on, but I think for now there's really nothing here. I mean, yeah, great Warhammer parts and Jagermack parts, but spending all our money to get those just for one or two pieces of salvage that we might never get a chance to use for 20 or 30 more missions, it's not really worth it. So let's have a quick look at the command center, see what kind of contracts we've got going on. Hoping to do an assassinate mission. Two skull, two and a half skull, something along that line. Um, possibly even a rescue mission. So let's quickly uh, let this thing sort itself out. So we're going to go to the barracks real quick and then come back. Um, just have a look to see. Now that we've got our um, our training module up and running, we're going to be gaining a little bit more experience here as we go. So flatliner and missile boat, missile boat we're going to add tactician. Uh, given that plus two morale gain and minus 50% critical hits taken, we want to bring his tactics up so we can get a uh, um, a bonus to his um, um, 
called shot because we want to be able to um, get more and more heads hits with those missiles that he has. So we're just going to confirm that. Training confirmed, Commander. And Thank ground serial still not doesn't have anything. Order. Height. Um, just going to bring his tactics up. Just bring it up to four. I know he doesn't need indirect uh, fire penalty, but I think with the higher his tactics goes, the better his sensors ability is. So we'll be able to identify mechs more quickly when he moves in. Mech warrior training. Um, yeah. Payroll. Just going to add to tactics. Training complete. And vein skater. Um, once again, I think we're going to go up to tactics line just to get it to four, or we could get plus one hit point. Plus one health. Um, let's go with the health, since he's going to be in the Panther right now, and he's going to be a supporting unit for um, height. So let's go this route. Um, I'm not convinced that that Panther is really loaded out the best way possible, so hopefully the next mech we get will be able to swap this Panther out for something else. Um, we refitted our mechs last episode, so we have greater range now on a few of the mechs. So with our, if we go into the base real quick, with our, let's see here, with our um, original Panther that has the ERPPC, we were able to add a rocket launcher 10. So it's a one shot, you know, f possibility for 40 damage and a tag, which is great. Uh, fire starter, we re remain the same. I Rejigged a few things, add a couple deep double heat sinks, so I'm hoping that the heating issues are at least partially alleviated for that. We added two ER medium lasers in replace of the regular ER lasers that we had. Uh, one of them is a clan, which we picked up off the Griffin last episode, uh, which is good. So, and the heat on this guy is still really, really manageable, um, which is fantastic. And then our Panther, we're re we refitted last time um, from being a support um, to add extra heat for our fire starter but since the fire starter is doing a really good job on its own um, we decided to add this as a different type of support unit so the SRM-6 don't have um, the uh, uh, incendiary ammo anymore we added a bunch of machine guns light machine uh, clan light machine gun a regular machine gun and a heavy machine gun we left the god smack shot in but then we swapped out a uh, double plus laser here which does an extra um, 10 damage um, and a small laser in replace of the pulse laser that we had in there. So I'm hoping that this loadout will help uh, generate headshots uh, and critical hits on um, the mechs that um, height will be overheating as we go along. So let's jump into a battle here. Let's go to the command center and have a look at our contracts. And I'm hoping there's something half decent. Corporate secrets. Uh, it's a recovery at, at two and a half. Manufacturing facility is a capture base in Martian environment. Um, this is in the Badlands. Hmm. It's a Steiner contract. Who are they against here? Um, I don't know, but let's try this one. It's two and a half. We can always bail if we're having problems. But I want to go for maximum salvage on this, so let's just read this. A scientist for Lyran conglomerate has turned industrial spy for a rival corporation from the locals. She was privy to numerous industrial secrets that we would prefer not to fall into our competitors' hands. The local government's leadership has offered to sell her back, but we intend to use a false hope of negotiations to buy you time to extract the scientist through more provocative means. I think, a lo I think I've lost track of how many layers of material this, this represents. Is this a quadruple cross? This must be some scientist. Yeah, so let's negotiate our contract here. We're going to go for maximum salvage. Our drop costs will definitely be covered by this. Um, I think it's probably going to warn us that we might be in over our heads here. Yeah, but I think we're probably going to be okay. Um, I'm going to confirm this. If we get in over our heads, we're going to bail out, but let's try this. Wish me luck. Command interface initiated. All right, here we go. Four mechs on the ground. So that's our base there. We have to extract the scientist from, and escape to up there. Now, we could rush in, grab her, and get the hell out. 
but here is my guess, based on the amount of times I've played um, this, is that there'll be a Lance of Mechs defending here, and then as soon as we grab her, another Lance will show up. Um, either that or it's timed, another Lance might show up before that. So we've got two choices. The first choice is to rush through here and come in the back door and try and take them, or we can move this way through the woods, trying to get as much defense as we can as we move our way in. Um, this is, I think, the longer route, um, although the trees give us some defense. I think this way might be the better way to go, only because we can get behind more hills and stuff here to attack. Um, plus, it limits the amount of um, space they can come through, and it creates a good fire uh, um, a choke point for them. So we're going to reserve back to turn one once again. Then we're going to send Height in and see if his new tactics actually reveals anything on the map here. So we got one blip. And it's a mech. So before we were getting, when he was running and we were just getting little sh chevrons, we had no idea what they were. So there's one mech there. Um, okay. Vanskater next. Now Vanskater, we put a bigger engine in his mech. Still doesn't give him quite the speed that the fire starter has. Uh, it's, he's only slightly faster, but the extra speed will help out with him defending um, height. And our Panther and our Trebuchet are going to be our um, main firepower when they come out of that little hole up there. We just need to get close enough. Okay, so that's a medium mech, which I figured. I figured it's going to be at least a Lance of Mediums, probably here, and then a second Lance later on. So he's coming out, land of the Slaughter. So we're going to reserve back. Somebody else, they got a couple more guys I think that are moving. I just don't know where they are. They could be over here. They might be at this base. But if this guy's up here by himself... Um, actually, first before... Uh, I, best, I guess I better... Because we can always sprint away. So I'm going to get right in close to this guy because I want to see what else might be up here. So we're going to get right in close to this guy. We can always sprint away if we have to. Okay. Blackjack. 1x. What does the 1x have? Flamers and a medium lasers. Well, this guy's not going to be able to use too much after we get through sending him to the barbecue here. So it looks like we're going to have two full alpha strikes before we overheat here. So three hits. Alright. Oh, what's up here? This is a Warhammer. 6k. PPC, two PPCs. SRM-6. So it looks like it's a standard model. I have no idea what this one is here. So it might only be one Lance that we actually face, but it's unlikely. I think there's going to be a second one that comes in. So let's get you up on this guy. We want to take down this Blackjack as fast as possible. So I'm going to unload everything on this guy. Alright. And we're going to move forward. Oh, I can see the uh, Warhammer, but we don't want to get into a range where we can see him and he can see us this turn. I mean, uh, he'll get a chance to shoot at us, but... Um, so we're going to leave the rocket launchers off. 52% um, chance with the medium or no heat. Let's go with the medium. Okay, I missed with the medium, but we got them tagged now, Commander. which means these missiles should really uh, hit home here. Now, how are we doing here? I want to go as far as I can, I think. 56 and 50% chance to hit. So let's way. move right in. I'm interested to see how much heat this guy generates now. Ah, still almost nothing, so we're going to fire everything here. Okay, so with the amount of damage we put on him this turn, he may decide to run. So we're going to have three mechs that go ahead of their guys. So, okay, so it looks like they've got two heavies. So the choice is now, do we get height moving to keep this guy tied up? 
I think the answer is yes. So we're going to sprint over here. So that that guy can't see us. We're going to waste wait our turn, not waste our turn, but wait our turn and cool off because I want to get up here and get this guy as quick as possible. So Vane Skater, we're going to bring him around. Um, we're going to sprint. We want to have make sure we have maximum evasion. And we're going to come and shoot this guy in the side. We're going to unload with everything again. It's a little bit more heat than I thought it would be, but um, it's not terrible. Not a lot of damage, but enough stability there. And now we're going to move up. We're going to move full sprint. Because once again, we want to stay as evasive as possible. No shooting, just running. I got to avoid that uh, the PPCs from that Warhammer. Okay, so 52% for the rocket launchers. Um, I think I'm going to save those. Fire everything okay. else. So we got rid of his right arm. Unsettled, okay. Now he's probably going to flee. Yep. So we're going to reserve Flatliner. I want to see what's happening with the Warhammer and whatever this guy is over here. Okay, so we can see him now. He's not firing much. I'm wondering if it's just because of the barren environment he's trying to manage his heat. Which is probably a smart idea, but... Uh, he's got full 800 armor. That's it? For a Warhammer? Why does that not seem right? Ready for order. Okay, we're just going to walk forward since we have no one else that can fire at us this turn. Three chevrons. And we're going to just put our missiles on this guy. We're going to leave our heat generating weapons off for now. Just want to make him a little bit unstable. Make him think about his life choices. Okay, this guy's got a bit of speed, so maybe it's a grasshopper? That's an interesting choice of where he went there. So, I'm thinking with the way this is working out, we're going to try and power through these guys and make our way up here, just in case there is a second lance that's coming and going to land. We're in a position where we can finish the mission up. So let's get here. So we can finish the mission up and at least uh, succeed here. Uh, what do we got here? Cataract. Cataract. Pirate. AC-10. PPC. Jeez. Thousand armor. Okay. Well, we're going to use all our flamers on this guy. Hopefully we can shut him down. That looks like it will. Yep. So I know we want more hammer parts, but the more we play this guy with this guy, Commander. we don't want to play with our food in this match. We're going to finish these guys up as quickly as possible, I think. So I'm coming up here, and I'm going to unload with everything that I can. Uh, let's leave this off. Gonna fire the rocket launchers because I'm gonna go after a head hit. Um, yeah. Nope. My flamer is empty. Your flamer is empty, buddy. Good to go. Okay, let's come around. Copy that. So I'm thinking this guy's going to come out and challenge us. But that is okay. So we're going to unload everything once again, trying for headshots. I think we're going to probably end up killing this guy, but it might be better in the long run. Head hit? Anything? Nope. Here he comes. Misses. Nice. Okay, Flatliner, we need some full speed here, please, because we need to get into a position we can get out of here. 
So let's actually move to here. Can't really get much farther with and have a good targeting, so we're going to go to there. And we're going to fire everything, and we're going after that head again. Maybe we get a knockdown? I don't know. Yeah, there's the knockdown. So we'll find out now in a minute how much health this guy has. He's got four. Why are you running away? I don't know. I guess if you see your Warhammer get knocked down, you might just run away? I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. Okay, so this guy, he's still stable. All right, let's tie him up again with height. Uh, I'm going to back him up a little bit here. Uh, we're in the forest here, though, so ah, i got to move. If I don't move, it's going to be a problem. He's still got lots of heat on him, so let's move over here. I got you. Stay in the trees and unload all our flamers on this guy again. Here we go. Should be able to shut him down. Oh, how many hits did we get? Three. We didn't shut him down, though. But I don't think he'll be firing, so I'm not worried. So we're going to get you... Nope. Gotta watch out for that cataract. So I'm gonna come around here. I think I can blow through his torso and kill this guy if I hit him with everything here. I can't hit him with everything though. So we'll just go with tag and PPC. And how much has he got left here in the torso? Uh, 94. Short of what I need, but we'll just fire at him anyway. Leg hit, of course. What else is it going to be? <sighs> Five points left in the leg. Alright, so Vane Skater. Um, let's get you up here. No, let's sprint. Ugh, I don't know. Get a back shot on you that way. Okay, we're gonna move in here, and we will fire everything at this uh, blackjack. I want him gone. Warhammer's not doing anything. Not that worried. We're gonna s turn off our two lasers. I think no. Let's turn off the SRM. It's not gonna be enough. Uh, heavy machine gun. That does stability. How much do we need here? Just a little bit. Mag shot. Better chances to hit with all the other stuff, so let's just do that. Nice. Is that a knockdown? That one's gonna leave a mark. No, but it will be in a second. He's running. I'm your oh, dude, you never turn your back. Okay, so we got multi-target. We're gonna do that. We're gonna target the warhammer with the missiles. And we're going to shoot the blackjack in the back with the lasers. Fire everything. Okay, so he's stressed up there. A couple shots in the back with this guy. Oh, he bailed out. Nice. Okay, so we'll have some a chance to get some blackjack parts. I don't really like blackjacks all that much, but um, he's got enough energy hard points. Oh, yeah, man. Damn it. So we're doing okay here. I'm thinking height's got to come down now. He's going to sprint. How far can we get? If we get to there, I can use all my flamers on this guy, but I can't use all of them because... Because we'll overheat. Let's do it. Let's come down. We'll use a couple of flamers on him. Making make him consider the fact that he might overheat. We're just going to use two. Drop some heat off this guy. 
Hopefully we hit with at least one, miss with both. Crap. You've gotta be shitting me. That should have hit. Yeah, huh? Should have hit, huh? So let's move to here. And we're gonna gotcha. shoot at the Warhammer. We wanna keep moving up. Um so we're gonna just turn off the lasers and we're gonna fire just the machine guns and we're gonna aim for the head. I don't think we'll get it, but we'll fire it anyway. Gyro crit. Nope. He's panicking though. That's good. So I'm thinking that we can move ground zero in to here now. And we are going to shoot at the cataract. We're gonna load up the scientist. Fire at the cataract. Let's get a tag on him. Nice. And then Flatliner is going to come around to here. Let's do this. Once again, we're going to multi-target. And we're going to put some missiles on this guy and everything else on this guy. So we're going to put our... Well, they're all 99% in the main guy. Uh, it's 88 in the second guy, 84 in the second guy. So let's just do it this way. So three to B, one to A. Hopefully we don't. I don't think we'll kill the Warhammer. We haven't penetrated all the way in. I can't see him, but um, fire on I think if we're shooting him in the side. We should mostly get his arm. Is he bailing? No. Nope. So that's the end of his turn. Uh, don't melee, don't melee, don't melee, don't melee, don't melee. Crap. What did I take? Fusion core hit. This isn't looking too good. No, it's not. The asset is in okay, we got the asset. Good work. First thing we got to think about now is what we want to do here. Do I want to shut down that cataract? Because this... Actually, you know what? Let's do vein skater first. I'm going to bring him back over here. Uh, I'm not going to sprint. I'm just going to walk. And we're going to fire at the Warhammer with a lot of stuff here. How much can we get on him? Let's shoot all this stuff. How much has he got left in his CT? 96. I shouldn't be able to blow him up with that. But it'll sure as hell make him worry. So let's hit him with all this. Maybe he'll bail out. Come on, you want to bail out. You know you do. Crap. Alright, so... All of us go before these guys. So I am going to use Ground Zero. We're going to move up this way. Hmm. I'm going to sprint up this way. So that I'm facing both of these guys. And I am going to put a shot in the back of this cataract. Or do we try and take the leg off this guy? Let's try that. Offensive push. We're going to shoot this Warhammer in the leg. Just the PPC and the tag. Nope. I think I got his arm there, didn't I? He is totally unstable, though. All we got to do is breathe on him and it'll knock him over. Yeah, it was his arm. So, I'm thinking Confirmed. that we... You can't actually get down. That's, that's supposed to be a road, and you can't get down there? Oh, come on, guys. Really? Okay, map makers. Mental note. If you're going to put a road in here, make it so that mechs can get down it, please. Um, Alright, so I guess you are going to be the one that's going to hit this guy. Let's use two, three... Three flamers. I don't want to kill him. Arm gone. Heat critical. Does it knock him down? Come on. That fall, fall, fall. Good. Nope. He's still staying in the game. Are you serious? Really? Really? Okay, you need to... You can't sprint. You took a CT hit. You're down to eight in the CT.
Don't like this at all. I have to have my back to both these guys. Let's try this. This is scary now. Yeah, you know, yeah, you want me. The guy with the package, man. I got the package. You got to come and get me. Improve distress. Really? What are your orders, Skipper? Not for long. I'm rolling. Make you panic now. I'm screwing around with these guys and I shouldn't be. Okay, so he takes another pilot hit. Panicked. Come on, bail out, man. Just bail out, too. Okay, he shut down. How's it going? Um, Vane Skater, I need you away from that cataract because he's going to melee. On the move. Full speed. We're going to shoot this guy. Um, aiming for his head. Engaging. Headshot, come on. Yep. Fall over, fall over, please. Good. Unsteady, crap. Ready for orders. All right, I gotta tangle with this cataract, and I gotta keep him on me now. So I'm gonna move back here and fire at him. Question is, do I do an offensive push and try and blow his leg off? I can't blow his leg off. Let's just fire at him. Let's just keep you shooting at me, buddy. All right, flatliner. Order. We got our sprint back. Let's get the Fergo to dodge. Gonna do that. Heading out. Full speed. If we kill this Warhammer, we kill it, but we gotta get the stink out of dodge here. So, one Lerm. 56 in the CT. If we split between the CT and the leg, we should be okay, but let's just fire. Let's go for the leg and see what happens. Nice. Hopefully we get some parts. Now what are you doing? No, 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 no. Yeah, okay, shoot me. That's good. Perfect, perfect, perfect. The asset is taking damage, Commander. Oh, screw you. Asset's not taking any damage. I'm the one taking damage. Okay, he's overheated now. Need something, Chief? Um, get the hell out of here. Let's not stay around. Going full throttle. Um, height, nope. we cannot even hit that guy. That not having that road there is really, really annoying. Roger, Skipper. Kicking it. I wonder if this road up here works. Okay. Standing by. Gotta keep him shooting at me. As long as you're targeting me. Got it. Okay. Flatliner. Hmm. <sighs> this is a bad idea. Let's not shoot from there. Let's just sprint. Um, going to sprint to here. Nope. Here. Turn our back to him. Man, this is scary. All his, I mean, even like machine guns in the center torso when he's dead, right? Okay, he's getting his heat back. All right, main skater, keep working on getting out of here. Height, I'm taking no damage. I want you to come down here. Because you might end up being a meat shield. Reserve. Flatliner. Like, he's got weapons that can hit at that distance. That. We'll move, turn the back. Yes, Commander. 
Moving back. Just walking. I don't know if we can use our uh, ER medium yet. Not yet. Let's fire again. Oh. Hopefully we get that torso. No, wrong side. Okay. Yeah, you're going after him, you... Meh. Insert expletive here. So I can't stay and fight this guy. Um, because I'll have two turns of overheating him. And then he'll be punching. So we need to get the sprig out of dodge here. Okay. Full sprint, please. Question is, can I get up over there? I think I can. Understood. Moving fast. Okay. And height. I want you to sprint up here. And turn around. Okay, he's behind the hill there. I think we're okay. Kind of. I miscalculated that one. I think he should have been down here more. Oh well. And we're going to sprint up here. Don't like having that side turned. I'm going to have... I'm going to turn my face to him, I think. We're going to fire at him again. He's not moving. Just a PPC. Just making him angry. I may stay around and joust with this guy a bit. I don't know yet. If I can get the uh, trebuchet to a point where he can't see me, I may stay in joust with this guy. He's overheating a lot. Band skater can't do much, so let's just get him up here. No shooting, just running. Yeah, just running. You want you to run, man. Get the frig up there. Okay. Um, let's reserve. Yep, Flatliner. Man. I want you to sprint, and I want you to be back here in the trees like that so now you got a hill between him and me we're gonna do an offensive push gonna aim for his head and fire both the LRMs look at that spread eh oh we gonna get a head hit though <laughs> nice uh, okay let's sprint you out of here Okay, you stay there. Good to go. I'm gonna sprint along here. And stay in the trees. I'm gonna shoot him in the side over here. That. Just gonna keep shooting that PPC at him. Might get lucky and kill him. Taking the shot. Where'd I get him in the leg? I think so. I think that was a leg hit. A critical hit. I think that was a leg hit. Where are you moving? Not very far. Okay, so that was a leg hit. 36, 26 in each of the torso. So, I'm going to reserve. Going to go with Flatliner first. Offensive push again. Going to go for a headshot. Firing. Critical hit, Commander. Panicking. He's panicking. Um, can we can't actually shoot him from up here, can we? Oh, what's this? Well, what do you know? Let's get him with some machine guns. Confirmed. Actually, we'll fire everything we possibly can at him. If he's panicking, I want him to bail. Got the torso. Come on, really? Height, you stay there. Waiting for orders. Gonna sprint back this way. Go for a side hit. And I think maybe what we'll do. All in ash. We have a better chance of. I'm gonna do an offensive push. We have a better chance of making this guy panic if we blow his leg off. Firing. Got the leg. Okay. Just 
gonna stay there. So you can see what we're doing here to uh, gain the advantage on this guy. We don't want to close with him. We've already we already we've already seen how deadly he can be up close. Right, so there's no point. I mean, the, my mech loadout um, is pretty good because it's just designed for long-range fighting. Actually, let's try and shoot this leg off here. So let's go with this one. On so that's exactly what I'm doing. Is I'm just long-range fighting. So he's going to take damage from fall. He might bail here. Okay. Yep, there we go. Nice. And it was just one lance. Mission. Cool. So that was a three. That was a two and a half skull mission. And we had two heavies and a medium. Which was pretty good. I'm hoping that we get some Warhammer and Cataract pieces. I don't really want the uh, Blackjack, but we'll see what we get here. Drop cost 55000 16000 in profit, which really isn't anything. Um, we got a fair bit of uh, repair to do here. The fusion core and the engine, plus all the damage in the center here. But everybody else made out really quite well. If we hadn't got meleeed by that uh, Cataract, we would have been fine. So there's lots of blackjack parts, a lot of cataract parts, and lots of warhammer parts here. But let's see what else we can grab, since we can't take those. So clan medium ERs. Now I, you know, 40 damage, or I see, I'm sorry, pirate medium ERs. Six variable. But 20 heat though. Plus minus six, six additional base melee damage. Ooh, that's kind of neat. I don't know though though, the, the heat on that thing is ridiculous. Uh, this is These are definitely good for cash. I'm just going to drop them there for now. And I don't think there's anything else down here that's worthwhile. So maybe we go that route then. The two engines and the two pirate ER mediums. Because we might have a build later on, a melee build, that we can use those in. Let's confirm this. We've got, what, one, two, three, four blackjack parts. Cool. One, two, three, four, five, six cataract parts. And three warhammer parts. So we've got a lot of good stuff off the top there. Nice. So 32,000. We're paying out this time. But we did have did get two engines that we can use to uh, sort of offset the costs. Eight days till financial report. So let's just fix everything up here. Um, we want to change things though. We're going to move the trebuchet up. Um, actually, it doesn't matter. It won't matter because we have two bays running. Job's done, Commander. Okay, cool. So, gonna have to go into the mech bay. Gonna have to repair that trebuchet's engine and everything. Fusion core and engine, a little bit of repair, not too bad. Let's go refit. And I think we're going to end it for he for today here. Um, I didn't really see any other other amazing missions we can do on this planet, but we might leave here and go to another one close by in the next episode. Did I not click refit? I'm pretty sure I did. Okay, so we're just going to repair this. Six grand, five days. Yeah, well, we got to do it, so. Right. I'll get it in the schedule. But six cataract parts, that's great. So hopefully we can, in the next little bit, actually, let's look, take a quick look at the contracts and see what we can do next time um, that we might find another cataract in. Hot landing. That's an option. It's going to be a little battle in the Badlands. Not sure what the terrain will be like for that. We might try that one, or we might we might do biological sample. That's a really easy one, but I really want to try for some tougher missions. And at this price, it's probably going to be reinforcements, unfortunately. So we might not do that one. That's my guess. Manufacturing facility is capture base. Let's well, we'll probably do this one next time. That's certainly easy enough. Okay. So that'll be it for today. Um, when we come back next time, uh, we'll try that next mission. And um, hopefully we'll be able to pick up some more medium or heavy mech parts.
298,000, not bad. Um, and then from there, hopefully we can get uh, um, uh, that, that second yeah, Panther we have out of uh, circulation and get a better mech into circulation. But until that, until next time, we'll see you all later.